Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing this video for you. It is a tutorial using the new Dose of Colors in I Love Sarai um, eyeshadow palette. And um, yeah, I created this look, very smoky pop of teal. And um, yeah, I did kind of pair it with a really full coverage face, a nude lip. I wanted to do more like a brownie, true nude. And yeah, this is the look I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it is gonna be like a talk through kind of chatty kind of video. And then at the end, I will give you like my final thoughts, first impression, kind of how I feel about this palette and if I think you really need it. So um, without further ado, let's just get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. Please turn on post notifications if you want to see all my videos and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I'm just going to put this on my eyelid. I'm putting a pretty decent amount because I'm trying out, um, you know, that technique that, you know, P. Louise and Mitchell and all those people use. So I put a pretty decent amount on and once that's all like in my perfect line under my brow, I'm just going to take this brush and dab in the rest of the concealer to start to blend it. Okay, so now that that really thick layer is down, we're gonna start going in with our colors and we're gonna build right on top of this super sticky base um, just so the colors pop even more. So the first brush I'm taking is a MAC 217 brush and I'm going in to the Dose of Colors I Love Sarai Collection palette. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Wanderlust. So it's this really nice um, kind of reddish brown shade and we're going to start off by putting this in the crease and I'm really like packing on this color and I'm not blending it yet so I'm just packing it all the way across the crease and I'm also putting it on the outer corner and the inner corner as well. All right so now we have that really concentrated there in the crease area. So now we're gonna start blending it out. And for that, I'm gonna go into the shade Loungy, which is the peachy shade here, more of a transition. And I'm taking the Alamar Cosmetics, um, they have a little brush set with three brushes. I'm taking the blending brush from that set. And I'm gonna start blending and diffusing out this line here. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend out all the way around all the edges, and then I'm gonna pull it out just slightly here in the outer corner. I'm then going to go back with the 217, no extra product, and I'm going to further blend the Wanderlust shade into the Loungy shade. Again, I'm doing just very small motions. Next, I'm taking a bluish teal pencil, and this is um, Undercurrent from MAC, and then I'm just taking this brush also from the Almar, um makeup brush set and I'm just very lightly kind of dabbing the edges as I usually do. So now I'm going in with that color which is Palma and it's in the center of the palette here and I'm going to start off with this same flat brush and I'm picking up a little product and I am going to wet it with Max Fix Plus. This is the Coconut Fix Plus. And I'm going to start putting that in the center of my lid. Now I definitely think this shadow performs way better with a finger. Um, I was expecting just like a bit more from this eyeshadow. It's still very beautiful. It still like blends really nice. It ends up looking super nice. I don't know why, just when I saw this palette like in action with other people, I was just expecting it to be a little more like a pop. As you can see, it still is really nice, but I don't know. I was just expecting a little more. So I'm just applying that on the lid right over top of the pencil. And then again, doing like I like to do where I kind of pull down towards the center around the edges just to help that fade in. We're then going to go back in with our 217 and a little more Wanderlust. And I'm going to refocus that on the inner corner and just layer it slightly over the Palma shade 
and that will help kind of those two transition better into each other. Then I'm going in with the back 233 brush and I'm going with the black shade, which is Finders Keepers. It's a black with some sparkle. I'm just gonna lightly apply that in the outer corner and sort of dab it towards like the Palma shade. And we're just dabbing that in. I'm not going too ham with that. I don't want that like too intense. I just wanted a little bit more depth in the outer corner. And then I'm going back in with Wanderlust, our crease color, and layering that of the edge of the black and just very lightly buffing that in a little bit. And that way the black just kind of fades better into everything else. Okay, so in all that applying the black and then whatever I just did, I felt like the Palma shade lost a little bit of intensity. So I'm just gonna take it on my middle finger here and I'm gonna stamp it right over the center with my finger and that really gives it a more intense pop, like right there in the center. And then the last step for the eyeshadow, I'm taking the shade Poquito Mas, which is this light champagne shade here. It's a champagne, but it's got a little bit of like a pinky undertone. And I'm just going to apply that as my inner corner highlight. And I'm applying that on the upper and lower part of the inner corner here. And very, very carefully, blending it into the Wanderlust shade we already had down, and that way it kind of fades really nicely from the um, inner corner highlight into that inner corner shade. For liner, I'm using a new liner today, and I'm obsessed with how this turned out. Um, this is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. I've been wanting to try something new recently, and I saw this at Target the other day, and I was like, why not? And it is so nice. So I really love the applicator. It's very like thin and like the perfect firmness, I feel like. So I can get a super nice line and it's like not hard. It's also the perfect like consistency, I feel like, of the liquid. I don't know, it's just really good whatever they did. So doing just kind of your simple line across and then I'm gonna wing it out as well. See how like you get such like a flaky eyeliner, like it's so pointed at the end. And that was so easy. I don't know, there's something about it and it like, it's just really easy. I'm, I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna go in, whoops, I'm gonna drop it first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Graph Black Liner from MAC and put that in my waterline and really kind of get it in between my lashes on the tight line. And then for my lashes today, I am using the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. While these are drying, I'm going to do my brows and do my mascara. For mascara, I'm using the MAC um, Bold and Bad Lash Mascara. And for my brow today, I'm using one of my favorite brow products I've been using a lot lately. It's the MAC um, Shape and Shade Brow Tint. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and put a little bit of that, especially around my nose. It's really the only place I need it, but I'll put just a tiny bit everywhere else. But I like to use this around my nose area because my nose gets very dry and like dehydrated, even though I'm super oily. And then it gets like super textured. So like no matter what foundation I use, everything looks very textured on my skin. So. I'm using that because that really does help the texture around my nose area in particular. And then like I said, I'll kind of put it everywhere else. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus in the gold shade. This stuff is like a freaking amazing. And I'm just gonna kind of cover my eyes while I spray this on. And you can see that like immediately gives you like a super nice glow to your skin. I'm like, I love that stuff, um, but it, the, it will get on your clothes, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to go in with foundation. Today I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. It's been so long since I've had this foundation. I like ran out and then I never bought it again because I have so much other crap. Um, but I'm getting back into it because it's literally probably one of the best foundations I've ever used. And I'm using a beauty blender to apply that. 
So Pro Longwear is more of a medium coverage. So it's giving me like even tone, but it's not covering everything. So I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer and I'm gonna conceal under my eyes first. And I really like this actually. This is my first time using it today. And what I notice about it that I'm like immediately drawn to is it's really full coverage, which is what I want. It really reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape. It's just not as dry. And that was always my like biggest complaint with Tarte Shape Tape was I loved the coverage and how long it stayed on, but it was, it's so freaking dry. It like dries my skin out and I look like it just looks gross under my eyes sometimes. So it makes a really good eyeshadow primer to me, the Shape Tape, but I never really like loved it. Like I used it, but I was never really like fully sold on it, you know? But this is definitely a little more hydrating for sure. Like I said, I'm going ham with this concealer because I want more of a full coverage look. And I know it's kind of light for the foundation, but you guys know. I make it work. Now to set my under eyes and all the highlighted areas, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is the loose powder in the shade, what is this, Fair. This is the lightest one. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender again, my damp one I just used, and set under my eyes. I'm not baking. I'm just applying it and blending it in. I can't leave it on talked about it a million times, it just really dries my skin out, so I need to like immediately blend it out. To set everything else, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Powder in the shade Medium Golden. This is my favorite, like all over setting powder, because it just looks very nice. I don't know. Your skin looks very nice and smooth and helps a lot with texture, so I really like it. And I'm kind of, um, going over top of the border of all of that concealing. And as you can see, everything's kind of starting to blend in a little more. So that lightness in the center of the face doesn't look so like stark. For contouring today, I'm going to go into this guy. This is the um, Tarte Park Ave Princess Palette. I got this when it was on the like Sephora Weekly Wow and it was only like 20 some bucks. Um, and it's beautiful. And I'm going to take, I think I'm gonna mix Princess Cut and Angle, these two lightest ones in the center. I'm gonna use that as like contour slash bronzer. This is my first time using it. Oh my gosh, that blends like really well. Like super easy. Oh my God. This is awesome. I don't feel like I'm having to like, I feel like after putting it on, right? And here's just like a couple sweeps, it's already blended. Like, that's really surprising. Like I'm very pleasantly surprised. This was kind of one of those purchases where I was like, I don't need this. But it's one of those things where it like catches you like, oh my God, it's such a good deal. I have to buy it even though I don't need it, you know? But that's actually, super nice this like formula whatever they did with this it like I don't know it's blending so easy I'm very happy with that highly recommend knowing now like how this performs I would totally buy this full price too like it just seems so nice um, just because I want to be really extra I'm gonna try the brightening shades and I'm going to mix the two and apply that under my eyes. See, I like this. This has, okay, something about this formula. It's so, like, creamy, these powders. I'm so happy with this. I'm really happy. And honestly, I had I, today's the first time I used it, and I was really uncertain, and I was kind of like, eh, I'll try it, but I might just return it because I don't need it kind of thing. But this is so nice. It's funny, out of all the things I've gotten recently, I can't believe that's the one that I'm just like, oh, like in awe over. That's so funny. Um, so I'm gonna go in, you know what? We're gonna do something different. I was gonna go with Peach's Blush from MAC, but I'm actually just gonna go in with the eyeshadow that I used, um, Loungy, the more peachy shade. 
And I'm just going to use that for blush, actually, because it'll obviously perfectly tie in with the eyes because it is actually on the eyes. I'm going to go in and finish my eyes now, and then when I'm done the eyes, we're going to go back and kind of like finish the lip and everything else. All right, so for under the eyes, I'm going to start off by taking, I'm gonna do the undercurrent pencil from MAC and put that in my waterline and then really blend that into the lash line as well. I was gonna go more like dark on the bottom lash line, but I think I actually wanna go for the teal. So I'm just applying that and then I'm gonna go in with this back with the um, Alamar brush and just blend that down just a little bit. I'm first going to add just a little bit of our transition shade before I do the teal, just so I have a little bit of something, something going on underneath the eye other than just the teal. So I'm taking a little bit of loungy and just very subtly blending that down under that liner. I'm gonna try not to touch the liner because I want the liner to stay um, a little tacky. And then I'm gonna go in with the bottom my shade and put that right on top. I'm kind of pulling my brush to the side here just to very lightly blend it down into the loungy shade we just put. I'm then going to take the tiniest bit of the black in this palette and just run that in the waterline more so on the outer half of my eye. And that's just going to give me a little more definition that I like to have. And then very lightly kind of blend it into the bottom of the shade we already have down. So you can see that just gives you a little bit of definition there in the outer corner. So it's not just like one solid color all the way across. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye. So for highlight, I'm telling you, I like went back and forth through Ulta a million times, like contemplating. Should I get the highlight? Should I get the highlight? The Soulmate one from this collection. And in the end, I was just like, I can't, like, I don't know. Like, I don't need it. You know, I was like, I don't need it. Don't do that. Um, I'm trying to be better. So for highlight, I'm actually going to mix these two. So the bronze and then the lightest shade, which are Poquito Mas and Sun Glow. I'm going to mix them together, um, pretty even parts of both, maybe just a little bit more poquito mas, and then I'm going to use that as my highlight. And hopefully this goes well. It doesn't ruin the whole look. I wanted to go for a very light, very nude brown. So for that, I am first using Oak Lip Pencil from MAC. And now that I have that down, I'm going to take the MAC lipstick in the color Myth, which I thought I had and I didn't. And I'm like, what the hell? How do I not admit? My lips are kind of dry right now. Let me actually try to exfoliate them a little bit so this lip doesn't look like shit. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Super glamorous. I really love how it turned out. And um, yeah, I really love this. So let me just kind of give you my final thoughts on this palette. So first of all, love the packaging. I think it's really cute. Um, I love how summery it is. I think the color choices in there are really beautiful. In terms of the formula, the mattes are really great. Um, the shimmers are all really great. This metallic black is super nice. This, like I said in the video, it's good. I just, I don't know, I expected just a little more, um, but it's still good, like it's not bad at all. Um, in terms of, you know, would I recommend this? I definitely would recommend it in the sense that like, I think it's a really great formula. Um, the colors are super pretty. You can get like a super nice look with this. You can definitely go more neutral, you can go more colorful, whatever you wanted to do. My only gripe with this is I just, I don't feel like it's different enough, you know? Like, I, I, I think if you've noticed lately, I've noticed personally, everyone's coming out with a lot of similar stuff and it's kind of boring. And if you follow trend mood, which I do, I just, I feel like I follow trend mood because of the, I what, read the comments. And, um, on Instagram, trend mood, like she'll post stuff with like new stuff and every single is like boring. 
as Rich Lux would say, it's boring the house. Like, come on. Copper eye nude lip, okay? And um, it's just one of these things where, like, if I compare it to this, hold on. I'm going to compare it to this palette. To me, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's really similar to the Alamar palette. Like, it has similar shades. Not exactly the same, but a couple of these are pretty close. And... All I could think was like, this is eight colors, this is six colors, this is like $28, I think, this is 35 So like there's, I feel like it's just one of those things where like, I don't know, it's a good palette. I just know that I don't need it and I know that a lot of you guys probably don't need it. And based on like how things are going lately, if you notice, like I noticed that like on the Dose Colors website, none of her stuff is sold out yet, which I was so surprised by. I was like thinking it was going to be sold out in like two seconds, but it's not sold out. And at my Ulta, um, I went there like the first day it came out and there was no one like waiting. There was no one there. No one was looking at it. It was just me. And I went back like four days later and it was still all there. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing was sold out yet. I'm really surprised. I just think everyone's kind of coming out with stuff that's really similar and really basic lately. And I think people are just getting to a point where we all have so much stuff that we don't need it. And we want like new different things. So as good as this palette is I think it's a really great palette I just know like personally I don't need it I'm gonna keep it but I don't need it and I just think you know I wish it would have been a little bit more groundbreaking in terms of like the color choices so yeah it's definitely really great I think for the price in terms of quality it's really great if you don't have colors like this you'll really like it a lot if you already have colors like this, I don't think it's that more groundbreaking and that like crazy of a formula that like you have to have it. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please turn on notifications if you haven't yet so you never miss one of my videos and I will see you next time. Bye.